Here's the New York Times today. There is bedlam in the mask market as profiteers out-hustle Good Samaritans, complete with scams and price gouging at a time when people are most in need. It's the equivalent of, of the price gougers you would see after a hurricane trying to charge 10 or $15 a gallon for gas, except those people tend to get arrested and very publicly shamed, and the local district attorney does a whole press conference about it. Now many of these middlemen are just getting rich in this insane market while people are dying, and our federal government is letting it happen. But it's worse than that. The Trump administration is explicitly abdicating its responsibility here. Yesterday, the president's son-in-law, not an epidemiologist, announced that distributing life-saving materials from the federal stockpile is not the federal government's job. The notion of the federal stockpile was it's supposed to be our stockpile. It's not supposed to be state stockpiles that they then use. So we're encouraging the states to make sure that they're assessing the needs. They're getting the data from their local uh, local uh, situations and then trying to fill it with the supplies that we've given them. So I would just encourage you, when you have governors saying that the federal government having, hasn't given them what they need, I would just urge you to ask them, well, have you looked within your state uh, to make sure that you haven't been able to find the resources? Have you checked first? Do you hear what he said there? It is our stockpile, according to Jared Kushner. Our stockpile. Who is our? Who? Jared and Ivanka? Their, their, their personal stash? Not the states? The federal government is constituted by the 50 states. In fact, the literal definition of who the stockpile belongs to is the states. That's actually what the law says.